Hey, it's Ral from Camping World of Jackson, Mississippi. I'm here to present to you the 328 BHS Mesa Ridge. It's a subsidiary of a Jayco, so we'd like to call it the Jayco Luxury Line. Now, we're gonna start up front. We got a power tongue jack with a light on it that allows you to put your weight distribution system uh, on and off a whole lot easier. Quick, easy setup for leveling it out. Two 30 pound propane tanks, fiberglass shell with uh, LED lighting, and it looks like a like that line X uh, covering on it. Right here we have a pass-through storage with slam locks and you got your power leveling jacks and some extra lights there. Look, you got this giant 50 amp cord. We have, on this thing here, I believe we have uh, four slides. This thing is a monster. Uh, I don't think we have any other camper on here that's gonna be as luxury as this. So you got the uh, stainless steel siding on the, on the thing. Down here, you have your black and gray tanks, uh, easy uh, to identify, but uh, color-coded uh, sewer plug-in right here, uh, sewer outlet connection, wastewater tank, quick low point drain. One of the things I like about this particular camper, easy access to the back of your refrigerator uh, so that we can change out uh, and work on it a whole lot easier for your technicians. Oh, this thing's got a secondary drain. I have not been in this one yet. Uh, I bet it has two bathrooms. Look at that, easily identified, black and gray, black and gray. If you'll zoom back in here, uh, the nice thing about this particular model, it has the uh, hydraulic reinforcements on its leveling, uh, on its stabilizing jack. It's not a leveling jack, it's a stabilizing jack. And there is a difference between those uh, for who don't know it. Uh, leveling, we'll pick it up normally off the ground. Uh, stabilizing keeps it from moving side to side. Okay, as we move back here, you have your 50 amp plug, your rear uh, uh, stabilizing jack controls, uh, walkable roof. Um, I've been told that this roof has a 15 year warranty. Uh, that, uh, literally, you can poke it with a pin and this stuff will not uh, puncture. More storage back here, easy connection. As you can see, all your city water connection, black tank flush, uh, satellite and cable connection. Nice little opening so when you run all your cables right here. We'll step over here. We have an outdoor kitchen. This thing is super, super sweet. You got your swing out TV right here. Sink, beer fridge, or tea fridge if you don't drink it. More storage back here. Thank you for the camera Hello, again. Uh, we had to do a cut. I got tongue tied and uh, we'll probably see an edit right about there. I'll make it cool by the way. Um, what I wanted to point out over here, we have the hot and cold uh, access to the water. It actually does have a real drain, not the kind that you pull out and dump. Uh, three burner stove, uh, again, metal uh, covering. And one of the things I pulled out, you got the uh, metal glide ball bearings, what you normally get inside the hey, coach. I got a call for those who've seen my videos. I'll re-edit it right there. Uh, I was just explaining these uh, metal glide ball bearings in this, made with the actual plywood uh, drawers, extra large handles with modern fixtures. You got a light switch right here and hydraulic lift. One of the things that's nice about this coach, you can clip on a table or a grill right here and connect it down here and have an extra cooking station. Look at this giant slide. I'm excited about going inside this thing. One thing I want to look at, wow, pass through storage bigger than the other side. A really nice on off switch here, which is something I really, really uh, enjoy. And down here we have the Purion uh, solar charge where you can connect your solar panels and uh, uh, trickle train, uh, charge your batteries. And two, two awnings. Both of these awnings probably come out about 15 feet. They're both LED lit. Uh, heavy duty bar um, helps keep the door closed with a screened in door, by the way, and uh, aluminum anti slip. Uh, wow! This is really a, it, it caught me off guard. I, I truly haven't been in here and I uh, wanted to film this where I see, you guys can see my real reaction here. Um, I'm familiar with this couch. They have it in a fifth wheel. I haven't seen it in a uh, coach like this. Uh, you can take two tables and pop them right here or this thing can turn into a sleeping area and it does have storage underneath down here. I'm willing to bet. <clears throat> yep, there it is. <sighs> Look at that. That's, that's where they store your tables and you store your actual linens and so forth. All right, let's walk in this bunk room back here. Wow, this thing is sweet. You got two bunks that can be elevated. Nope, one bunk that can be elevated. A little small bunk that you can sit down 
and then a little dinette for the kids, a little storage space where you put your TV, uh, turn that booth into a bed, and uh, let's see, we saw two sewer lines outside. Oh, wow, we have a bath and a half. Uh, you can tell that because there's no shower on this one. Put a medicine cabinet and everything. That's nice. And that's a porcelain toilet. The advantages of that is uh, the uh, plastic ones hold odor over time. Look at all that drawer space. And I bet this thing will rotate with sound bar. may not rotate we're not going to pressure it right now we have three burner stainless steel stove with oven electric spark hey this is the third interruption during the filming of this and another call thank you guys for calling me i appreciate it by the way my number is going to pop up at the end but just in case my number is 601-497-7315 we were just discussing the microwave i wanted to show you guys real quick this is about the size of an average plate and a lot of campers you can't do this with right here you can't store real size uh, kitchen features and furniture and so forth and uh, utensils. Look at all these drawers right through here. That's where we store the remotes and the keys. Look at that. They all come all the way out so we don't have to dig for your knives or anything along that line. And for safety, we have a uh, CO2 detector and propane detector. More drawers over here all along the kitchen. Uh, flush mounted 250 sink with uh, restaurant style fixtures. And look at this, you know, that's really, really nice here. I'm looking forward to going into the bedroom and the bathroom. Uh, I'd like to point out, my cameraman, uh, uh, there's no carpet in this thing until you get to the bedroom. This is one solid piece of vinyl. A uh, nice way this place is constructed. Look at this little place to put your uh, hats and all your controls are right here. We have a Jack and Jill bathroom right here. Uh, if you notice, as we sit down, there's a lot of leg room here. I'm a six foot four person. Um, Let's check out the shower. Wow, that's a big shower. Six foot four with a hat. Yep, lots of elbow room. A little bit of privacy. And you not have a nice little vanity here. Oh wow, look at that. Medicine cabinet. You got your vanity uh, ceiling up here. And uh, your ducted AC. You have an extra AC back here. And oh wow, this is a giant king size bed in a camper. Uh, travel trailer with an extra AC and vanity slide. Man, I thought, I actually thought looking at the slides on the outside, I thought this was a, a, a bedroom slide for East West. I was caught off guard here. Um, look at this. Wow. That's a lot of space. A lot, a lot of space. Man, I bet there's storage underneath this bed. Oh, wow. Look at all that storage. You even got an air, air mattress that comes with it, grill. Uh, Man, that's like a spare room right there. Well, I've really enjoyed looking at this camper with you guys uh, for the first time. Um, my name is Ralph Watson. I'm with Camping World of Jackson. Oh, somebody pointed out in the background, residential fridge with uh, ice maker and uh, water dispenser. Appreciate it in the background there. Again, my name is Ralph with Camping World of Jackson. My number is going to probably pop up right about here. Hopefully not over my face. Uh, 601-497-7315, 601-497-7315. Thank you for joining me on this giant, I guess, camper opening. Uh, I'll talk to you later in the future. Bye.